Brigida. Delano now on bounds. You know, we want to help grow you financially here and uh, prepare you for retirement. So we have our resident investment advisor, uh, our guru, if you will, Rondell Haywood. He's with PNC Bank. He's back tonight, this time uh, with a focus on Social Security. And yes. we sort of have some frequently asked questions when it comes to Social Security. First up, how do folks know if they're eligible for Social Security? Sure. So what happens over your work life is you accumulate these things called credits. Mm -hmm. And if you have 40 of them, you're eligible for Social Security. Okay. You get a credit for every $1,200 that you make in a year, hmm. and you can get up to four years. So essentially, if you worked for 10 years, $4,800 a year, you're eligible for Social Security. But you can't take it until you're 62 years old. Uh -huh. That's the key. There's, there's the caveat, if you will. Uh, the next question, when should you start taking Social Security? If folks are getting toward that age or maybe they're past 62, you know, what's the right move for them? Burkita, I get that question all the time. <laughs> Regardless if you make $1,000 a year or $100 million a year, people mm -hmm. want to know, Rondell, when should I take Social Security? Well, like I said, you can't take it until 62, so there's a, a number that's already built in. Okay. But what happens if you take it before your full retirement age, which for most people is going to be 66, mm -hmm. the government discounts your retirement paycheck mm. by up to 25%, if you can believe that. Wow. Let's put some numbers on that. So okay. if you waited until you were 66, you'd be entitled to $1,000. If you said, hey, I want my money now, like 73% of Americans are taking Social Security early right now, mm. that's three quarters. They're going to cut you back to $750. So when you put it like that, that the government is going to essentially keep that extra $400, you would think that that would motivate folks to wait you would think so. that extra four years. And you're not going to get that back. That's a permanent... Um, so it just goes yeah, away. Yeah, it just goes away. But here's mm -hmm. what happens. You wait till 70, mm -hmm. and you can get a 32% increase in your benefit from your full retirement age. That thousand dollars then turns into one thousand three hundred and twenty, hmm. which is almost twice yeah. what you would have gotten if you took it in sixty-two. But the, still, that number, that percentage that you just threw out there, seventy-three percent. I mean, that's an overwhelming majority. That is. I think people. I, I think us as human beings, generally speaking, have t trouble with delayed gratification. <laughs> you know, I want my money now. Well, that especially we live in a now, now, now that's society. That's right. I got to have think it now. Social media, everything is at your right. fingertips. Mobile banking. You know, the whole, the whole nine. Right. Um, um, last question, is Social Security enough to live on for retirement? You know I'm always talking about the retirement paycheck. Mm -hmm, you you got to build that paycheck. <laughs> you got to build a baseline. Social Security is certainly a large part of a lot of people's retirement. Mm -hmm. But I would argue it's, it's not enough. You mm -hmm. need to try to do a little more than that. You need to be contributing to your 401k while that you're working. I say if you're not doing it now, Run, don't walk into that HR department tomorrow yeah, and say, and I need it. to do this yeah. now. Mm -hmm. I need to do this now. But, you know, here's a simple thought. You can actually work while you're on Social Security if it's not enough. Hmm. Now, there are some income limitations. But, for example, if you had a part-time job after you reach full retirement age, the government won't, mix, won't reduce your benefit at all. Sorry, I lied. One more question. Okay, I'm 34. Obviously, it's going to be a while before I can take Social Security. Is, it, is this still going to be there? I, that's another question I get all the time for most people in our age yeah. bracket. I, the government is doing a whole lot to shore up the okay. system. I will tell you what's interesting about politicians, unlike you and I, their contracts, if you will, right. come up every time an election year comes mm -hmm, around. Mm -hmm. So um, there are 10,000 people every day turning 65. Mm. Okay, And those people vote and they come out in droves when they mm -hmm. vote. And so these politicians sort of have to think about that when they're thinking okay. about the social security system. But I think you and I will be okay. <laughs> okay. Rondell Haywood, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he's going to be back again to answer more of your questions. He is here every night. Uh, we're going to try to get some viewer questions answered next go round. So we will see you next month. Great. But we appreciate your time tonight. I appreciate yours. Delano. All right. Let's